Alright then, don't want to sit around for too long. May as well just get to drawing. Our first thing, already finished this last time I was on stream. But I need to get the coloring and background done. I've got this wreath to draw and two faces, just two. So first thing I'm going to do is make the, um, is it the wreath? I know Clip Studio Paint has, hello Alistair, welcome. I know Clip Studio has, what is it, lines of symmetry? I feel like that would be very useful for, was it, creating that wreath. Hope you're doing well, by the way. I remember I saw a tweet from you a couple of minutes before I went live, but I don't actually remember what it said. So. I'm aware that you did something, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah. It was like three lines long, something like that. I was a bit busy setting things up. I wasn't paying too much attention to Twitter other than replying to people. I'm wondering... I'm still going on about the uh, line of symmetry thing. Probably something. Smart smoothing. Right, right. Keep falling asleep during a movie at specific points, I remember. Just had to jog my memory a little bit. Hello, Lucy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Welcome. Do you know where the line of symmetry tool is? You draw more than I do, right? I'm trying to uh, create the wreath. Uh, and I'd only want to draw half of it because it's visually symmetrical. I suppose I could just draw one half of it and then copy and rotate it. That is another option. It seems like I could solve my problems a lot easier. Correct line? Could this be it? Doesn't look like it. Vector. Under rulers. Rulers? Your rulers at the bottom. Is that in a specific tab? The triangle thing? Is that the one that I'm on? That's, oh no, this one. The triangle. At the bottom. Symmetrical ruler. I can just draw that down the center. Huzzah! Thank you, Lucy. Ah. Oh. I'm also very full of stew right now. So. I'm feeling a bit sluggish. And bloated. This is very good. Let's see. There's also the recipe redeemed today. It should unlock in maybe an hour or so. I don't know, let me check on it. I don't think it'll give me an exact time. It's still out of stock. Reese's Cups and Cool Ranch Doritos. I, uh... 
I don't know that I'd be able to make those any more fancy than they already are. I very intentionally don't keep snacks in the house. But also, I eat them a bit too quickly. Yeah, okay, so it already says seven days ago, so we're nearing the time where it refreshes. Anytime I do have snacks in the house, I will go through them a bit too quickly, I find. It's not good for me. Alright, that is a fairly rough sketch for the background. I can just make a new one and hardline it in. I enjoy snacks as well, it's just, you know, dangerous. Can't deal with that much, uh, typically the problem is sodium in the snacks that I like. My snack of choice is often, um, Fritos. And those are just so easy to eat that, uh, end up full of corn chip. Yes, and they're absolutely coated in salt, so... By far, one of the least healthy things that I regularly eat. Not regularly. I don't think I've had any, probably in years at this point. I limit myself quite a lot when it comes to snacks. need to keep my figure in check because I have the body type that gains weight very easily. I tend to keep my diet under pretty strict control. Which is why I cook so much, or part of the reason at least. I also just like eating good food. much more cost-effective to be able to make the good food yourself instead of paying someone else to do it. And it means I have to leave my house less. Which is another positive. That's good. Fruit is good for you. I, uh, I've actually run out of apples. But I have a uh, bag set by the side of my door so that whenever I head out I can also bring an apple with me. Wait a second, why aren't you correcting on the other side as well? Does it only draw lines and not erase them? That's pretty odd. Alright then. Rub 
roast. I haven't done a roast in a little while. Quite a while now that I'm thinking about it. Probably not since last autumn. I think I just saw it pop up on my phone. Give me a second to, uh... I thought that was going to be in a... an eventually sort of... I will send you this picture, rather than immediate. So now that I'm thinking about it, the hiccups, I ate too much, I'll be honest. I didn't want to refrigerate any of the stew. Uh, in contrast to my careful management of my diet, I actually ate far more stew than I should have. Uh, I'm probably not going to eat anything else for the rest of the day. Or, uh much of tomorrow either. No symmetry. I no longer need you. Be gone from this world. Somehow. Delete ruler. Yeah. I can sympathize with that. Okay, I'm going to get away from the laborious task of drawing backgrounds, and I'm just going to uh, put some colors in because that's a bit more fun. And create a layer. Every day is oh. a new chance to draw <laughs> the worst thing I've ever drawn. <laughs> Welcome back, Aaron. Or not back, but uh, welcome to the stream. So in case anyone is unfamiliar, that is a quote from Drawfee, a channel that I very much enjoy. It's where I got most of my inspiration to start drawing from. Not most of it, but uh, there's definitely a highlight in it. I'm doing well. Doing fairly well today. Oh, I'm still very bad at drawing eyes. Just add in a couple more details. Right here. So there was a very defined base to the eye. It's not actually as open as I drew it. Oh, gotcha time. Yeah, I hope I actually have that um, set up on my art screen. Not too frequently selected. So, um, let me just explain voice line gotcha since it comes up so infrequently. Uh, I have a gotcha wheel that I will spin, and it has all of the voice lines from all of the tiered options that I have. And it'll randomly select one of them. It has the odds for each level, so. Let me open this up so that I can see the uh, wheel myself. All right. Spin, spin, spin. And it lands on. Ah, common one. Oh, you know what? I'm going to re-roll this one since it's basically a freebie whenever you spend 60 points. This is Wah. You get a free spin. 
I should probably remove that since I wah whenever the 60.1 comes up. Alright, one more free gotcha spin. The gotcha gods are generous. And that is, ah, uh, Pain Peko. How oh, unfortunate. A simple common. But those are the odds you play when you roll gotcha. Back to art then. Pain Peko. I am doing well. Oh, certainly. Pay attention to your class then, Aaron. I want to distract you from that. Okay. Alright, so. Time to do the literal best I can. Education's important. I need to figure out how to draw eyes myself without directly relying on copying what other people have done. Also, uh, okay. Judging by the art style, things should be semi-visible underneath hair. Something that I will take into account. to uh, make these eyes shine. I feel like I say this about literally everything I draw, but I feel like eyes are definitely one of my weak points. Like, that looks decent, but then you compare it to eye shines and shading, a little whatever these are that bleed around and add details to the eyes. Very tricky. As is, actually, let me grab just a very simple off-white so that I can get the uh, Scylla colored in as well. the beholder after all.
just looking at this, why does... Why does this eyebrow end so quickly over there on that side? Make that a bit longer. It looks like you're missing half an eyebrow. Also, the angle just seems a bit wrong. Can't be doing this all the time. Looking at things colored just makes me realize flaws. Color just adds so much stark detail that wasn't there before. Alright, well, let's get rid of the old eyebrow. Rest in peace. That's not what I meant to do. I'm not the smartest cookie in the shed. Come on, color things in properly. That's a bit better. Gives a bit of the one eyebrow raised look as well. Let's see. Um, oh, you do have very prominent teeth. Okay. Instead of just being a gaping, ominous void, I should probably put teeth in your mouth. Let's uh, get a direct reference in here because I don't feel comfortable drawing teeth on my own. That's for sure. This is very interesting looking. Having the the direct overlap of the hair here. Okay. Teeth. tricky. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ah. Why have I done this? What if it's COVID time and you're just wearing a mask now? Also, what if I drew on the correct layer? That would also be nice. Ah! I scared myself. Figure out the right height for these teeth to appear at. for 
pixel measurements on these teeth. up all of the buttons here. Yeah, it does exist, sure. I think it's just that the angle that I have the mouth at is odd. Perspective is definitely another big stumbling block for me. his tongue here. Right? Back to Drawfee. I guess I could talk about Drawfee more. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely one of their better series. Mm. Though I particularly like anime history uh, because it's basically just getting free fate designs, um, but with a much wider lens, I suppose. Instead of just Here's some more European folklore heroes. All right, that'll that'll do for the math. I'm fine. I don't need to go insane. And if it looks odd, then I'm sorry, but you're just going to have an odd mouth, Lucy. Definitely don't want any of these mouth colors staining the teeth. Uh, I'll fix that in post. Also, portion. Good. Probably be back of the mouth colored. Is that how mouths work? No, I don't think it is. Alright, just don't look too closely at the mouth, is uh, my advice. I need to put a background color in so that I'll be able to see these teeth easier. Uh, it's slightly off-white enough that it's mostly apparent. Also, what am I doing? I can just film bucket this, can't I? what mouths look like, right? Yeah, if you're far away enough, it barely registers. Fine. Just don't get too close to the art. That's why in museums, I have a thing that keeps you far away from the artwork. That you can't see how terrible everyone was at it.
just flat in all of the hair. And then I'll see about attempting shading and highlights later. As long as I don't go insane. The proper thing to do. Also, it's... I don't know how to say it. I suppose interesting is the word that I was going to use, but how the hair sh fades into whitish blue. Very unique. Oh, right. Smartest boy in the shed. Time to undo all that flat coloring. Oh, you get back over there. Okay. Hair needs its own layer. There's going to be some weird stuff happening here. Yeah, oh. Well, at least just partially obscured behind my head. Yeah, killer. If I didn't, then I did now. Right here, Keller. This should be above the other colors. I think I have to create a very specific new layer so that I can get transparent hair covering this eye. Yeah. Right. Keyboard so far away. So different, different, different. Difficult. I'm trying to think what word I could have possibly been messing that up with. No, I. I truly have no idea. Anything is difficult, I suppose it's pronunciation. I'd probably do this a bit more carefully or efficiently if I had to do this more than once. But fortunately, this is it. Just that one section there, 
And for consistency's sake, I'll also cover the rim of the glasses. about right right back to my slow descent into insanity oh I try and shade a hair wait what one of these has to be darker than the other right Second, did I mess up? Eh, maybe not. Might just be easier to do the, uh, the lightening instead of darkening everything but the lightened part. Who knows? Okay, I think it's actually a situation in which I can use this magical new tool. Nope, never mind. Oh, I'm on the wrong way, that's why. Air collar. Yeah. Now. Oh, God, this is the best tool I've ever discovered. You know, it's probably blindingly obvious to anyone who has ever used any art tools before. Absolutely changed how I did things. So then. I don't have to worry about transparent sections blending through as well. I'd probably use a different brush, though. One doesn't... Oh. These sections. Are they part of the transparent hair? How'd they get up there? Alright. Oh, back to brush. Perhaps I should be using oil paint? Oh, there's other varieties. Okay. Okay, going back a bit. I just want to experiment. Ooh. Other kinds. Also... Those chunks of transparent hair better be gone by now. Realistic? A wash. Good blender. Is this what I want? Textured blender, perhaps? Well, it's not blending anything, because there's nothing to blend. Rough wash, then. Let's try you. This is the fun art experiment section of the stream. Okay, I have no idea how that works, but, uh, not quite what I'm going for. Soft weed. Okay, that's an odd looking texture. Not the biggest fan, I'm gonna be honest. I 
like the ink. Rough ink, perhaps? Smooth. Let's try you. I'm looking for something that has a bit more gradient to it. Perhaps I should, um... Bring over the proper drawing. And see if I can... Get a bit more out of it. Okay. So I want to... Follow the lines of hair. sort of drag it down along the sides. What am I on right now? Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. That's what I'm on. I also want to uh, magic select once more. Oh, right. Wrong layer. This select. On layer two. I think that's the color layer. That's just general color. That's fine. I want hair color. Hmm, that's a bit better. I think this brush is still a bit too blocky. Want something with a little bit more lightness to it. I suppose I will go with the rough brush. Looks good. I want everything to arrive in a point. is still on the hair color layer, I suppose. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Back to normal color. There you go. I keep forgetting that that exists. The extra roar on the end of that basil juice. I'm a bit too used to the, uh, the regular one now.
do really want to um, play Monster Hunter Rise. Or is it Rise? I keep thinking Rise, but then I get confused and think I'm talking about Rising Revengeance. The Platinum Metal Gear game. I know it definitely begins with an R. Like most uh, game subtitles. I sort of don't have the money to get it, though. Hmm. I will just settle with Dauntless for now. As my new hunting experience. I also still have a world, so... I can play that if the craving ever gets too strong. What does this look like when I zoom out? Not the best. Could certainly be worse, though. the magic selector in a different quadrant of hair. Means I can actually add highlights here with impunity. fan of this magic select tool. Made my job infinitely easier. Also, I had an idea somewhat recently that I should probably uh, commission art of my pet cat, Sebastian. That I can have him physically on screen whenever he's present so that I don't have to uh, keep offering people to return their channel points if he is not here. Too bad, that's for sure. It's actually... Actually quite like that.
little yellow lighting effect. For once, that actually looks like it's supposed to. Right. Do some of the interesting tips. Oh, right. Greetings. Oh, to all. Angelic. Please welcome, welcome, Melody. Stay. Welcome. To see you. I'm currently working on some art. By. I'm guessing that's why you decided to raid. So I don't know if you've um, seen these yet, or before rather, but this is some VTuber tarot card artwork that I've been working on, uh, where I take various VTubers and turn them into tarot card artwork. I am currently working on Lucifer and Bubs. It's going reasonably well. I've moved into coloring and it's going about as well as you can see. actually have Aqua slated for one of these. He's going to be going on the Temperance card. I already started it a little while ago, but I didn't get too far. I only got the uh, general sketch for that one. Oh, that's another thing that I probably should remember to do. It's just awkward for me to type it in. There we go. Hello, Kojiro. Welcome. Welcome. I'm still working on tarot artwork. Okay. And we also just got a raid from the very wonderful Angelic Melody. Because I'm... I s believe you're still a Dolahan. Uh, who is also another art streamer. Moody, you're here as well. Welcome, welcome. Currently in the process of the tarot artwork right now. Uh, I'm going to do... Right, you select that. To very gently... No point in gently doing it. Where's my eraser? Oh, it's just unbelievably large. Welcome, Moody. It's been a little while since I've seen you around. Although I suppose it's also been a little while since I've appeared in your streams. Still currently a dual hound? Alright. I don't want to get things wrong while shouting someone out. I think I need a slightly more transparent brush for this. Just to go up the uh, 
That's not transparent at all. Oh, it's because it went to the pen. That's much better. Greetings to one and all. Please oh. wow. enjoy your stay. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the second raid now. Welcome, Moody's audience. Good to have you Greetings here. Greetings to one and all. Please enjoy your stay. Oh my... <laughs> How many raids are there going to be today? Fallen noob, welcome. Welcome. Please, come in. And thank you for the follow as well. Uh, it is most definitely not. My birthday is not until August. I don't know where you got that information from. This is a uh, Please, simple little in. art stream. Oh, thanks for the follow, Locodo. Or, wait, Locodo. Yeah, I got that right. Please. Oh, come Phantom in. Detective. Thank you for the. Mm, so many follows. Oh, only half Incubus in my case. But, uh, thank you for the follow nonetheless. Very much appreciated. I suppose I am. I lack quite a few of the more traditional Incubus traits, but, uh... I still maintain my proper heritage. That's quite a surprise, all of these follows and raids. Oh! What is that? Ah, oh, Aqua's hosting. Welcome to Aqua, then, as well. Hey, what happened to my... Oh, it just disappeared spontaneously. That's irritating. Where's the transparency sneaking in? This isn't drawing gray, it's drawing transparent. Oh. My goodness. Will that ever just stick in place? Okay, I suppose I just need to draw enough for the gray to stick there. Come on, stay gray. I'm actually not used to, um, having so many people in chat. It's very difficult for me to keep up. Oh, that's probably where the transparency was sneaking in. These two little pixels. How vexing. Till then. Stop bothering me. With your non-existence. Oh no, something else is dragging in the transparency. Because you're better than everyone else. You're waifu material. Oh, I'll solve this strange conundrum one day. What is allowing transparent pixels in? Instead of using the wand, it is on the same layer as your grain. Walk with checkers. Wow. <laughs> Walk with checkers. Okay. No, oh, now I'll take a drink as well. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Out of wah. Layer selection? Okay. Mm, ah. 
Walk transparent pixels. I see. That seems like it probably helped. Well, I also want to keep it all within that, so. Might change the color back over. Ah, there you go. Baked ZD. All right, then. Ah. See, let me know if there's a uh, specific uh, recipe that you want me to follow. Uh, if not, I'll look one up myself. Yes, I wasn't sure myself when the uh, redeem was going to unlock. So for um, any of the viewers that came in during the raids, uh, I suppose I can also let you know what was just redeemed there was the once weekly opportunity to give me a recipe and have me cook it. Uh, unfortunately, I can't share it with you, or else I would. But uh, I will post a picture of it on my Twitter once it is finished. And it's just as fun for me as it is for whoever it is that manages to get the redeem in time. Don't worry, Aaron, you'll have a chance in another week. So, Monday at around 6.13 Eastern Time is when that should uh, unlock once more. Whenever it is for you. So just make sure you uh, keep a note of that and you can camp the redeem. I forgot I switched colors there. There's also something that I'm very unfamiliar with, using light gradient colors. Normally I'll just block in all of my colors and be done with it. I figure I should probably put as much effort as I possibly can into these from here. I've always put as much effort as nani, I can in. Nani nani? Got it. Oh! Oh!うめ。うめ。よく言ってくれた。世の愛する市民たちよ。よは。よは。頑張るぞ。よし。頑張るとゆうえずわ。ファインとゲットダブルディームネクストウィークえずわ。So I, I also made doubly sure that I got rid of the obnoxious crying that Nero does at the beginning of that clip when I turned it into a sound redeem. Um, because despite being generally adorable, Nero is loud and annoying quite a lot of the time. On fill in. Mine. Has my pen just spontaneously stopped working? No. They're just. impossible to color in pixels, I suppose. Alright, what is coloring you in? What layer? Oh, you know what? No, oh, never mind. I thought it might be pixels from uh, the reference image that I have off to the side, but that doesn't seem likely. I suppose... I can just get rid of it on the line art layer. Now there's no longer a little patch of invisible hair. Right. Just... There is something there. What could you possibly be? A 
part of the transparent layer. Handle, body line art, normal line art. There's something blocking the way. What are you? Rule invisible pixels. Forget about it eventually. Fun. Just have some fun with horns. A little bit of. Oh no, I can't have that. Ruining the immersion. One of these days, I'd like to be good enough to be able to just select colors on my own. Wendy's Baga, you may say, go ahead, go to the Jitsu Dai Shimas. Wendy's Baga. Really? Wendy's Baga? Really? Really? Wow! Wow, crazy USA hamburger! Yes! Love! Make hamburger country USA! Wow! Oh my god! I'm, I'm a burger, burger fox. fox. Burger. Burger. Burger fox. Buki is really great. She's probably one of the Hall Live members that I admire the most. I don't watch her very often, but I think she's probably one of the better members of Hololive. A large portion of my admiration comes from the... What is it? There was a time... About a year ago at this point, where... Marine and Xion... We're meant to be doing a stream together. I don't specifically remember what the stream was at this point. Um, but that's fairly irrelevant to what happened. But the point is that the both of them ended up oversleeping uh, by quite a lot. All right. I need to lock transparent pixels on every single layer that I do. I just find that, uh... Is it? They never help me. They're only ever irritating. Why did I do that the first time? I just right-clicked? Right. Layer mask. Ruler. File object. Did something. There we go. Lock transparent pixels. I remember I also ignored the blending tool for the longest time because I... I just had transparent pixels constantly bothering me. Um, but yeah, back to what I was talking about, about Fubuki. Um, so Marnina and Shion were meant to be doing a stream, but they overslept by four hours. Um, which obviously... Uh, a lot of people were excited for that stream as well, I remember. Um, so, what Fubuki did was she started her own stream, uh, unscheduled, uh, and created a waiting room for the two of them. Uh, and it turned what would have been large amounts of frustration at those two for doing an anticipated stream that they then missed into sort of fun experience because it was a waiting room for the you know, the, the late ladies who took forever to make it to their own stream. I don't know how to make horns shiny, I'm going to be honest. I'm just scuffing up little details 
that they don't look flat. We can add some darker colors in the edges. I'm just directly going off of what the original art looked like. See, this is something else that I really want to get better at, is that um, all of my art is directly based off of something. I have a very hard time making my own decisions when it comes to art. If I'm not being told how something should be done or why it should look this way, a lot of trouble actually realizing it then. Deselect. It's not the worst thing I've ever drawn. Alright, now time for horn number two. Because God has cursed me for my hubris, and my work is never finished. If I didn't have sound redeems, I would just be saying the things out of those sound redeems non-stop. Because that's all my brain knows to do. Well, I'll wait patiently, Aaron. Sure, I have some incoming hubris. Ah! Okay, that wasn't the point of the game I was expecting. I need to turn up my own volume. These aren't scaring me enough. Just some mild startling. Volume on my end is, uh, noticeably higher. I can hear the, uh, buzzing of static. That'll be nice and loudly interrupted by screaming cowboys and cursed hubris. Yeah. It's probably approaching levels like that. Also, uh, I saw this a little while ago, but congrat or not a little while ago, uh, however long ago it was, but I saw that you reached 200 followers on Twitter. Congratulations, Kojiro. Good milestone. There's a horn with weird little scuff marks on it. I think I need to make these a bit more hard lined in. No problem, I'm happy for you.
Right, I need to go back to, um, what was it, Rough Pen, I think this was? Yeah, that looks better. Right. I'm gonna just undo all of those soft, weak lines that I added. The buzzing of the static that I have going is actually starting to unnerve me a little bit, making me paranoid. As I know at any second, I could be getting a 50 decibel sound alert pumping through my ears. That's more like it. Ow. Okay, I've turned it down a little bit. That was physically painful. I knew I was... I was intentionally tempting fate there. Because I thought it might be a bit fun. But, uh... I don't know. I think the sound redeems are one of the, uh... more ingenious ideas that I had regarding this channel. I do tend to focus on them a bit. Good enough. Right. Let's just flat in some more colors while I'm at it. My fill tool, yeah. Color. I think it gets confused. No? Ah, is it because I have transparent pixels locked? Ah, I suppose transparent pixels means you can't replace the transparent pixels. I see. Well then, in that case... I suppose I need to remove that setting. Yes, that is exactly what it means. Okay. Need to remove reference, Lucy. Get over there. Back where I put you before. Ah. Just, uh, fill those sections in hair colored. Uh, uh. Too extreme of a movement there. Also, how did I not catch that before? Oh, because it looks like a fabric fold and I thought it was good. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, but this one, no excuse. That's just sloppy line art. Ah, I've done it once again. Time to zoom out so that I can once again observe the fact that I can't remember where I've put my layers. Right, back to the color layer. 
One day, I'll be smart enough to remember that. But I don't think it's going to be any time soon, if I need to be brutally honest. So, let's see how much darker is the interior of the cape then? That much darker. Also, I suppose I wasn't paying very much attention. Fine art. Oh. Just add. rest of this hood. There we go. Now, just go back to the color layer and get rid of this. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> need to look at the uh, wider picture first. Well, that's just the way that it's curving. Is this just a fundamental issue with my piece? If I curve it back up like that, that's a bit better. Just ever so slightly. Oh, but I put that on the color layer, that's fine. I just have to be very careful. Uh, not erasing it. Who needs to maintain layer integrity? Oh, and I can actually now color in these errant pixels as well. Because I no longer have layer lock. Parent pixels be gone. Alright, what was I doing? Yes. Yes. Ah. Uh, okay. Now for the... Slightly more difficult part of this. Fabric physics, or details. Do I even dare, or do I just retreat into my simple little hidey hole where I don't deal with fabric? Okay, maybe I get a little bit detailed here then. So, onto line art layer, I'm just going to draw a little button. Black outline's fine. Oh. Uh, to draw a circle one of these days. There we go. Oof. Right. Now, we'll try and draw fabric. Hmm. I'm going to try initially just to do this without looking at a reference. Can I make this look natural just off of my own intuition? Bit of a fabric fold. It's all scrunching up towards a center point.
top layer of this should probably be a little bit folded in under itself. Also, I should probably stop using the artist brush setting. It doesn't look quite so nice when you're just trying to make smooth shapes. A lot more natural. These single pixel bumps and lines. There's another streamer that I watch, um, Mekon Mage. Uh, they're primarily an art streamer. Um, and when he was working on some art yesterday, I, I forget what it specifically he said, but it was something to the effect of that he learned to stop being afraid of brushes with... Was it transparent pixels on them? And I figure that's something that I should probably work on myself as well. Because it's always been something that I avoided is brushes that um, have errant pixels on them that are semi-transparent because it makes it so much harder to um, use fill buckets to cover up some of those areas. Um, and also, uh, Mikan had a stream going on earlier that I was watching. He's currently playing Near Automata. Um, it's a 12-hour stream. I don't know that he's going to be playing Near for all 12 of those hours. He might be. I actually quite like him very good artist and streamer. Very polite. And he has a very nice Australian accent as well. I was wondering, maybe I should... I was, I was thinking that I should probably raid him after I'm done here, but I also raid him very frequently. I'd like to, uh, diversify a bit. I feel like I actually raided him from my last stream, so... Ah, I will <sighs> stretch for you. Oh, also, uh, something that I uh, feel like I should actually bring up right now that I uh, forgot to mention earlier is that my model is actually fully rigged. Uh, however, uh, my computer does not have enough USB ports in it for me to have my webcam and my drawing tablet plugged in. So during drawing streams, I am uh, constantly stuck in an idle pose. So that's why you will see me bobbing up and down while breathing, but my mouth isn't moving any. I feel like that's probably something I... Should have thought to say once all of those raids started happening. Which I'm still very grateful for. I use an actual webcam. 
plugged straight into my computer. A Logie webcam. It's definitely not the uh, most elegant solution. <laughs> far from it, far from it. It was a, uh, what, maybe like a $20 webcam? There's definitely far more expensive options. Okay. Now this is something that I have definitely been dreading. Okay, also, time to compare and contrast shading so that I can see what I need to work on. So the center area is entirely darkened because it's pulled together. It sort of follows flat lines across. That makes sense. I just wanted to see how accurate my intuition was. Also, that was the collar collar that I picked there. Just darken everything on the interior. Actually, take the lighter color of the cape and bring that in to make the uh, lines like that. Okay. Yeah, that does look a bit better. Possibly from all of that water that I just drank. I had to hazard a guess. I do tend to drink quite a lot of water per uh, hydration redeem. I suppose that's one of my talents is my ability to drink water very quickly. Definitely not something to uh, generally boast about, but uh, because if you have talents, may as well share them. Right, that's a bit better, I suppose. Hmm. Every day Ooh. is a new chance to draw the worst thing I've ever drawn. <laughs> ever. All right. Bell tool exists for a reason. Fortunately, the art today isn't going too badly. definitely be you know, better. It's definitely not the worst I've ever done. Okay. Make something shine. Can I select two things at once? No. Oh, maybe I can. I just don't know how. That's fine. I'll just do it one at a time. Okay, that brush definitely isn't what I want. 
Okay, is there... Dry gouache, perhaps? Are you good at making metallic sheen? No, you're not. How about normal gouache? Ooh. That looks like it's uh, on the right track. Remember, I discovered the uh, gouache tool. What was it? When I was um, doing the background for the Fool card. Let's just take that so that I can uh, get the very edges of this. I absolutely loved it. All right. That does pose a bit of a problem now that I have deselected that layer. Okay, but I suppose if I just do this. Okay, it should also probably not be in Gua. Um, but gouache was just so specifically useful in that situation where I was drawing the background um, which was specifically uh, a mountain I needed to shade the mountain well uh, and using gouache just felt like I was Bob Ross because it painted like actual paint which was something that I had not experienced using uh, CSP up until that point I had just been using very standard pens up until that point. Having something that added actual texture was uh, very enlightening. This might not necessarily read as metal or glossy, but, uh, I don't know. The initial sheen itself looks fine. Also, I'm definitely not planning on adding those spikes. Oh, it's just super reflective as well. Suppose I can add a little bit of this, um, what is it, red reflectiveness onto the uh, metal as well. That's going to be a very thin, very light touch. Wash blender? This looked like it was very light coloring. Unless it just blends what already exists, which... Looks like it. Oh, I did not want to move anything. Okay, I'll just touch very lightly. A little bit of sheen on the edges. CSP. Now time for auto load. Or no, auto save. I don't know what I was talking about there. Right. These shiny reflective surfaces. 
What if this is just matte black leather? That exists. I am putting a lot of detail into this one. Probably not for the best. Ah. Jazzmeister and Mitzbun appearing all at the same time. Welcome to both of you. Alright, well. Time to add a little bit of reflectiveness onto this one. Ah, well. Welcome. Glad to see you pop in. I hope your day at work goes well. And thank you for the bit. I don't actually know if I said that earlier. I feel like I might have, or it could have just potentially entirely slipped my mind. Gotta increase the brush size a little. Take a look at the original. Okay. I was just checking to see if the, uh... Was it the highlights went all the way down to the base? Oh. A lot of people coming by today. Very nice. Oh no, well, hopefully you can wake up in time for work. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do my best to have a good stream, although it's already been particularly fun today. Okay, maybe the brush size is a bit too large now. Having difficulty with the finer details. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that I've unlocked the advanced ability to specifically select an area that I'm drawing in. I'm drawing so much easier. I keep forgetting that it's active. Alright, that's that. Suppose I'll go with this color for the base. Just fill in. I think it's just the sleeves that are that color. Yeah, because everything else is the shiny leather color. the darker area. Right. Shading is just difficult, isn't it? Oh, you know what? Magic selector tool.
See, the thing is that now that I've started to put more detail into all of this artwork, it makes me feel bad about the fact that I didn't put detail into the previous, or as much detail into the previous ones. Very specifically, uh, into uh, Naveen's, because she actually paid for hers, and I told her it was very unnecessary. Now it feels like I've just delivered a uh, worse product. I can definitely imagine that um, each one of these is probably going to look a fair amount better than the one that came before it as well. I suppose there's no real use in belly aching over that too much. Also, I, um, one of the things that I've talked about previously is how I'm going to fill up the cards that weren't requested by anyone. Um, hmm. And one of the things that I talked about was the fact that I would like to do um, Callie and Kiara from Hololive as the lovers card. Um, just to uh, take that one out of the drawing pool. So, decent. Um, and I've actually been considering getting started on that one. I plan on doing that one off stream. Um, but also, I think it could be fun to do it in their new outfits. Because Callie just recently revealed her new outfit. And Kiara's should be coming fairly shortly. I believe it's tomorrow. So, once that is revealed, I might actually just get started on the lover's card. Especially because it's just kind of odd to... Like, I, I definitely couldn't arbitrarily select two independent VTubers to draw on the lover's card. I did briefly consider doing um, um, Rin and Artemis of the blue as the lover's card, but I don't actually know either of them, so I figured that might be a bit awkward to do that. Okay. I'm drawing baggy fabric. I'm just going to sort of match what I see on the original piece. I do this shade in this area with a slightly larger brush. Like folded fabric. Also uh, shading in the baseline as well because this is in shadow because of how the body is positioned, so.
I'm also very interested in uh, seeing what Kiara's new outfit could be. It's obviously some sort of farmer looking outfit. It seems like, at least. Um, but I did see that uh, she very specifically commented on one that was super out of left field, where uh, the outline that looks like a straw hat was drawn to be a um, crown of thorns. And it was just super edgy looking. I thought it was very... Interesting way to, uh, take that. Artwork. So, so detailed. But there are actually... Black lines for where the folds are. In the fabric. Okay, I do actually have a sort of structure here in the uh, outline can sort of turn into a uh, fold. It's just so far beyond what I'm capable of at this point in time. Probably should also have been doing this in uh, gouache instead of pencil. <laughs> ah. I'm in danger. I haven't quite gotten to you yet, Alistair. Don't worry, your your handsome little head will have its time soon. Yeah, this looks a lot better than the pencil that I was working with earlier. going to do the uh, single fold. Very yes. gracious of you, Master. Oh. oh my! Thank you for the subscription, Alistair. Was not expecting that. Very generous of you. I just sort of copied what my uh, sound alert for that is. But, uh... I suppose it's just the first phrase that springs to mind. You have, uh, access to my one emote that I drew myself in ten minutes. Maybe one day I'll add more. Uh, well, not more, but I'll get a better one, perhaps. No, that was me as the voice alert. You think I have the money to commission Matt Mercer to voice something for me? Very gracious of you, Master. I can put on a deeper voice. I just don't do it very often because... I like to speak in my normal cadence. But it's a very formal occasion when someone subscribes to me, so I like to sound my best. My fabric is difficult and it shouldn't exist. I don't like drawing it. Fabric is bad. Hot take.
Right. That's as detailed as I'm going to get. This fabric is driving me to insanity. Time to lock transparent pixels again. If I can find where that is. File objects? No. Layer settings. There we go. I just need to, um, what was I going to say? I need voice training is the main thing. I need to take some, like, actual acting classes so that I can make full use of speaking abilities. I don't know how to phrase it. I'm like that anime character where it's like, oh, he's this strong without training? Oh, this is possible. And then once I actually get training, he'll all rue the day. No one will actually rue anything. I'll probably be very polite about it still. I'm just generally pretty bad at um, receiving education in any sort of format. I tend to slack at the worst possible times. Something else that I've actually been wondering about, um, that I specifically noticed, is that for some reason, a lot of raids tend to happen at the same time. So, for instance, myself, today, I was raided, what was it, three times in nearly immediate succession? Yeah. First from, uh, uh, ba -ba -ba. who was first? Melody was first, and then Moody followed immediately after, and then Fallen Noob was, again, almost immediately after that as well. I feel like I more often than not see... Hello there. Hello there. One of my two non hollow live greetings. I feel like I more often than not see um, raids happening in very quick succession of each other. Also, welcome back, Aaron. I assume your class is done. Hello there. Oh, one of the other. It's the same one. I feel like that must be some sort of bug where it uh, prefers the same voice clip when used in quick succession. Because there's ten hello greetings. And it's supposed to be random which one comes up. It's going pretty well so far. I'm making decent progress and I'm putting in more effort than I normally would. Uh, but it's turning out fairly successfully. Uh. Also because knowledge is its own reward. Oh, I swear that's a quote from something. I don't speak in anything but quotes, but I actually just don't remember what it's a quote from. Knowledge is its own reward. I think it's actually a Hearthstone card. Yeah, it's only the second one, but uh, it happened. I didn't even do anything to warrant a hiccup that time, though. Oh, 
<sighs> also, thinking about it, I should probably put shading around the cuff since the fabric bunches up there and moves tighter towards the center. I'll add some slightly thinner protrusions from it to show that it is cinching. I'll do that on the other sleeve as well. This select, please, and thank you. It's time for gouache. the greatest brushes ever. Just so much fun drawing with the gouache brush. It just feels like real painting instead of digital art. Not that there's anything wrong with digital art, of course. I also made those cuffs very small. I'm now looking at it. Are the hand... I say that and then I look at this fingernail that's just pointing off in the exact wrong direction. I need to fix that immediately. Why are you pointing in that direction, fingernail? Body liner to separate from line art. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of that. No? Okay, I'll just erase it then. Oh, right. Hands are probably on the candle layer, right? Yep. Oh. I need the hard line for actually doing the line art. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, there's probably some details with the hands that could be fixed as well, but, uh, as is, generally pretty fine as they are. I just said something that was entirely redundant. Good job. I basically just said, as is, they're fine as is. Also, did not... Ugh. At least I caught it quickly that time. I'd started putting things on the wrong layer. Ah, right. Transparent pixels. I suppose that'd be a uh, good way to tell if I ever got something wrong. Also, I have long fingernails on one hand and short fingernails on the other. More things to fix. Alright, let's extend these off of the fingers a little bit. Definitely not too much of an issue. Alright, back to line art then. going to take some fairly detailed erasing 
Because despite the fact that this... Oh. Despite the fact that this canvas is absolutely massive, I'm still down to specific pixels when I'm drawing hands. This has actually been a lot easier than I thought it would be to, um, make these fingernails long. I thought I'd be struggling with this a lot more. And also, the thumb doesn't even have a nail on it. There we go. Alright, and I believe he has black polish on them. Yes. Alright, this is glossy black, but, uh... For the sake of my sanity, it's going to be matte black. I'm sorry that fashion has to suffer for the sake of my comfort, but uh, I'm actually not sorry. cape real quick, because that should have the same sort of pattern that I did with the hair, because it's the same kind of, um, what is it, gradient transition. It's not correct, that's adding color. Want it to lighten, not darken. Watercolor, then? Transparent watercolor. Oh, I need to lock transparent pixels. What is that going to do? Oh, it should also be on the correct layer. That's fine. Actually, wait, no, it's not fine. Okay, so if I move the body liner now, okay, it takes the fingernails and, what is it, the outsides of the cape as well, so, undo till the point there, those disappear, oh, okay. What was this color layer, right? No bucket that. And uh, darker color here. Now uh, the light bluish gray. So I lock transparent pixels again. Is there a shortcut to doing this? I think there's a way to save pathways, if I'm remembering correctly. That you can save a pathway to something. 
at some advanced level whip studio paint wizardry that I'm not very familiar with. Not having to worry about blending transparent pixels along this makes it so much easier. And just run up against the edge. I feel like it's a lot less that my art quality is improving, but it's more just that I am discovering tools that are a lot easier to use. Just drawing little lines for the fabric indentations. There we go. Now I'll just do the same thing over on the other side. All right, and I actually just solved a problem that I was wondering about as well. Ah, I'll take a drink as well, Aaron. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. Hmm. Ah, but I discovered how to select multiple areas at once. Um. And it's as simple as just drag your cursor over multiple areas at once. Who would have guessed? I think um, something that I'd be interested in doing a bit later on, perhaps once I have gotten a bit further into all of this tarot artwork, is mm, trying to draw with less references. Mm. Specifically, coloring, because I feel like that's something that I should learn how to do if I want to be drawing long term. Okay. Time for, once again, making something look shiny. Oh, the horror. Just zooming out on this, I've I've realized that I'm actually very close to finishing. Also, far in that belly button. Actually, you know what? I just get a get an exact belly button color. Yeah. Also. Is it just me, or does the skin tone look wrong? I suppose I color picked from a very specifically light area of skin. That looks a, a bit better. I don't know. I'm actually going to undo that. What? 
Because I haven't actually done any shading on the skin yet, but what would be the best place to get a just general base color? Like right here? Is that the best? That didn't seem to change anything. Oh. I suppose I'll solve that problem when I get to it. But, as it is now, let's just try and make these pants shiny. So, time to determine the brush I'm Emphasizing texture. Maybe an ink would be good. Bit husky? Mm, too solid. Smooth? That seems like it could be a good pick. I'll stick with that one. Now, this is something that I very definitely need to, um, almost copy from the original. Oh, yes. Also, time to take this time to isolate. on the edges but it just stripes in to a shine I'm just going to zoom out and try and get this as accurate to the original as possible but from a distance Yeah, this is definitely something that I, uh, I do not have the artistic chops to understand how to make something look reflective. I mean, at this point, it sort of still just looks like I'm smearing blue paint on it. I'm just keeping everything going in the same direction. Perhaps it'll make sense. some of these lines a bit more coherent, I suppose. The brush line's a bit um, straighter and more connected.
I think that's definitely a technique that I've seen used before. Um, just temporarily do this. But when you make something shiny, you sort of do this, right? That makes something look shiny. I remember learning that somewhere. That's possibly a trick that I picked up from Drawfee. Oh, okay. I think the big thing for me to do right now is remember ooh, what purpose these lines serve. Uh, and that is to show that an object is three dimensional. So these lines should exist to show that um, there's depth. This isn't just a two-dimensional object. But just so long as I sort of match the edges, it should give the impression of a cylinder. Which is what legs essentially are. side of the leg as well. same sort of general light spot on the main portion of the thigh. So let's get some extremities. Also, since the knee would be, I suppose, around there. I can add a couple of little spots just to show that the fabric is bending somewhere at that point. Wow, I really did not even try when drawing this foot, did I? I just realized I can't actually get a reference for this uh, portion of the foot. I have to go entirely off of my own intuition. All right. So then, the... I guess theoretical light source that is casting this shadow or creating this light is sort of shining from the position of the camera. So... A 
And does that mean that the center of this should actually be the area where light is shining? Sort of towards camera off to the left. Oh, hello, Sebastian. You're probably hungry, aren't you? Again, since new people will have been brought in with the raid, since my numbers have actually remained fairly consistently high, I'm pretty surprised by that, but uh, my pet cat is named Sebastian, and he will occasionally come visit me on stream. I have a cat bed set up directly next to me, where he can sit and rest, but right now he's standing in front of my computer and partially obscuring my view which is what he typically does when he wants food. Well, I will probably have to go deal with that. Oh, oh he's ramming his face into my keyboard now. That's definitely a sign of hunger. All right. Well, I'm going to take a short break. Shouldn't last any more than three to four minutes. But uh, I hope you will all stick around. But as it is, I will move over to the intermission screen now. And I'm back. Sebastian is fed. And 
I am in pain. Time to keep drawing. Not an actual pain. Just, you know, art is difficult. Very light, uneven scuffs. All marks of light and shadow. And also, I'm fairly certain the boots are made of the... Or the shoe portion, yeah. They're made of the exact same material, so... The same properties should apply. Gentle ridges on the top side of the foot here. I can already tell that by the time that I'm done with these tarot card arts, that I'm just going to want to go back and redraw my old ones because I'll think they look terrible. I'll never be able to escape. All right, all right. And then back to this leg because I just sort of never finished it. Wing into shoes. Reminds me of a uh, devilish version of Hermes's flying sandals. But instead, they are flying thigh heel boot, thigh high boots, rather. Now that I'm actually thinking about shading or making something look shiny like this as being a tool to make something look 3D, I'm actually finding it a lot easier to do independently without referencing something else. I find I learn things a lot faster when I know the function to them. shading down the center as well. That'll help. Maybe? I don't know. Time to zoom out and take a look at it. Mm, maybe it looks like some children's artwork. I suppose you have to draw like a child before you can draw like anything else. Ooh. 
I think I need to fill in some of the rougher areas. A bit too feathered, I suppose. Needs a more solid outline for it to look like reflection. Right, but when observed from a distance, yeah, that looks good. You just have to look at it from far away. Hmm. Definitely could be a lot worse. All right. And then on to... What was it? Right. So, I don't want to draw all of these individual shapes. So I think it's just going to be... be flatted in in green, and then I'm going to get one of the foliage brushes and go around that in a pattern. Yes, yeah, so if I just fill that in green... I take the magic wand and color select it. Now I'll go to the pattern brush, vegetation. Okay, what sort of foliage does this look like? Maybe to patterns? Or flowers, rather, is what I'm looking at. Now, patterns then. Ivy? I'm surprised ivy isn't in vegetation. Alright, so I'm going to want this to be black ivy. Bump up the brush size a little. Yeah, that looks pretty good actually. Got extra large on that. Okay, not quite that large. 400? I just want to be able to easily encompass it. There we go. There. It's obviously not quite as detailed as it could be. But it's better than being flat, I suppose. Right then. See, are there any other patterns I could use? Or clothing? Just to get those ribbons in. Braided rope. I just use braided rope. Just to make it look a little bit fancy. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Let me... What is it? This layer? Now I can just... No. I was on the wrong set of buttons. Actually, you know what? It'll be easier to do it this way. I wanted to have it going just ever so slightly over the top so that it wasn't just flat on this. Come on. 
There. That is acceptable. Alright. Before I go too far on any of that, I want to get some shading on the skin done. Oh, also, something that I noticed before but uh, didn't fix is that this area down here is supposed to be the same material as is on the top. So that needs to get colored in as well. Okay, but skin color. Let's just get some shading. Uh, selector wand, there we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Stay on the brush. is to um, someday be able to determine the color that this shading should be on my own instead of copying it from something else. Because this color looks basically perfect for what I'm doing, which is adding darker portions to the... what? Is that still transparent? Oh, right, now. I always forget. Magic selector box, go. Every now and then I just sort of assume that things should be on the same layer because it makes sense, or they're the same color. layer down. A bit more depth on this side. There. Yes, and then I definitely need shading on these portions of the arm because they're hidden beneath the cloak. If the theoretical light source is positioned slightly off to the left, anatomy gets in the way. Also, neck. Neck needs to be darker, of course. Next, just have shadows cast on them in general, because they are underneath the head.
Keep hitting buttons that I don't mean to. Oh, right. More buttons. Get magic selector, do your job. So I'm discovering something very unfortunate in that I actually enjoy shading. Which means I'm going to have to do this more. I'm not looking forward to the amount of time that this is going to increase when I'm trying to work on things. full of mild hiccups today. Right. Right, and, uh... And add shading here as well, under the brow ridge. shadow, whatnot. There you go, and I can also make the lighting a bit more natural there than just having the light black lines sort of implying light. Anything on the thighs? Actually, yes. Be some amount of shit. Ooh. I do actually need to use the wand to select now. Because this thigh is slightly obscured by the one in front. And I suppose I want to be an extra stickler for detail and just get a little bit of shading on the inside of this here. Right, deselect. That's about as detailed as I'm daring enough to attempt. So the 
What is it? The candles are sort of just plain white. Okay, I think that's actually all the color that I need. So now... Let's see, what is this layer? Background outline. I need to name my layers or else I'll never remember what anything is. some background color and then I can add Alistair and Bubs. And I just like cut out Bubs and drag him down into that corner. No, not really. Not gonna take that easy of a route. Was the wrong color. Seems a bit too pastel. Thank you for the compliment, Alistair. Wait. I realized I'd turned my headset off, so I unfortunately couldn't hear that basil juice. I'm assuming everyone else heard it. I should also get the uh, flames. Apologies. At least everyone else got to hear it, though. I can just replicate it. I think I'm actually going to drag background color all the way down. I want to just get a sort of much lighter version of this color and there, I suppose. And just airbrush very light runny colors onto it. Yes. If it's sort of a dappling of age. Oh. Okay, this is actually something that I can solve fairly simply with a rectangle lasso. Oh. And just enclose that space. No fancy tools required. Alright, but now I want to also re darken it a little bit. There we go. So now it's just not one uniform color, it's got a bit of character to it. So Time to draw a little beholder. Oh. Okay, this is probably going to be fairly directly. I'm just going to match this as close as I possibly can. Because the lion is in the same pose where it's looking straight at viewer. Alright, so that should be on the highest layer. Time for some art of bubs. And 
that's accurate to say because I'm actually drawing Bubs now instead of Lucy. Ah, so close. less time and effort into this. Eh. I wouldn't say perfect, I'd say good enough. Three teeth. Hoof one. Hoof two. Tooth three. Oh, Bubs also has a split pupil. Bubs and I have something in common as well, it seems. Let's actually... I like the shape of that pupil, but, uh... I need it to be looking in a slightly different direction. again get a box around this also no not that much of a box or was it the background color needs to actually be moved behind the sketch box because um was it it's intruding slightly come on doesn't have slight amounts of frame residue or background residue stuck on the frame. Okay, some of the tentacles are going to go out of frame. Alright, so. Time to draw a whole bunch of circles. And I'm just going to match... All of the same poses for these limbs. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment just so that I can uh, make it slightly different. Oh, goodbye, bot. Get banished. So I'm just going to draw circles, which will be the end of the eyeballs for the eye stalks. If I can draw any circles, goodness, these are all turning into ovals. There we go. And I'm just going to draw them positioned randomly around him. And then at the end... Not at the end, but uh... Oh, I'm on background color. Need to go up to Bubs. Alright. Is everything on Bubs? Yes, it is. Good. We'll have to draw those circles again. Yeah, so I'm just going to, um, connect arms to wherever I draw the eyeballs at. So there's not a, uh, one-to-one -one copy of the position of the eyes on Bubs' original form. Because I want at least some level of originality. In what I'm doing. I'm not actually looking at bubs right now. I'm just placing the eyes. As I see fit. Yes, bubs is the name of Lucy's Beholder. I'm fairly certain. Because the name of her, her Twitter handle is Lucy and Bubs. I'm fairly certain I've 
seen her refer to the Beholder as Bubs. Unless I'm wildly mistaken about something, that should be correct. take too long with this because I also still have to um get an Alistair face in there Something else that I was wondering was, um, I had an idea for what I could make one of the other, um, sort of face shapes that are surrounding the world. I could make one of them into Mr. Longstride, who is a moderator for Lucy. Um... I very rarely ever see the two of them in separate locations. But then I'd have to think of a fourth one. That's... a bit too much for me. Detailed spot erasing time, my favorite. I hate seeing the pixels in my artwork. So that limb should be a bit wider. I didn't like it from the get go, but I didn't want to fix it. But looking at it too much was just bothering me. For this one, I'm going to go just a bit more creative and have it looking slightly upwards. Just for fun. I want things to get a bit too samey. stock is looking up. Try and have this one looking as straightforward as possible. There's a sort of foreshortening challenge, I suppose. Let's see. So if that's the case, stock should be 
bigger in the back. to do another perspective one with this eye just looking ever so slightly off to the side so there's the pupil there oh no actually because of the orientation it's going to be more like this I need to get the pupil in on that one early because otherwise it would be very difficult for me to remember the orientation that the eye was supposed to be in. Last tentacle with a visible eyeball. tentacle just sort of going off of the side of the screen here. Same here. Just one stalk like that. Okay, so now I can just draw pupils on each of these. The fact that these pupils can just be flat lines is so immeasurably helpful. I don't know why I'm hiccuping so much tonight. Must have been something I ate. the color margin. There we go. Bub's color should probably be separate from Bub's himself. Also, I drew Bub's a little bit chonky. Uh, Lucy probably not needs to stop feeding him so many cookies then. Right there. 
please don't go past the invisible line that I have created for you. Thank you very much. Alright, I'm also going to just try and get away with making Bub's flat colored. I already put so much detail into Lucy, I don't want to put as much detail into Bub's. I feel like my life expectancy would shorten drastically if I were to do that. too tempted. Nah, mm. I need to hold back. Or else I'm going to drive myself to madness. Oh, there's nowhere near enough detail in bubs. Okay. I need to make his mouth line thicker. basically invisible from a distance. Alright, that's good. Now, time to completely redo everything. Because he's too light purple. Light purple should be the shading color. Dark blue is the main color. Oh, it's taking so long to save recovery information now. There's so much detail on this thing. Oh. Alright, wand select. Ah, oh, that's gray. Go back to purple. I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish right now. Oh, you know what I just realized? I'm, I'm shading a sphere. One of the most notoriously difficult things to do in art. back to gouache. It's 
still have Alistair to draw as well. Well, just his head, but uh, still a decent amount of drawing left to do. But having blended edges is making this look a lot better. I think I'll just settle with the blended edges for now. And by for now, I mean for forever. Yeah. Yeah, that's Bubs. Alright. Uh, I'm actually going to need a reference for Alistair, so... I'm gonna have to sit around while I pull up something. Should be enough. There we go. One of the only alleys I know, so. Let's just grab this image. Drop it into reference pictures. And pull it into the canvas. Okay, so now. I need half of his head. It's almost complete. I just need to put Alistair's head up in this top left corner so that it balances out where Bubs is. Uh, and then I'll be done. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just cut his face in half and bring that over for the reference. Here we have half of Ali's head. The good half. Right, and now... trying to figure out how to draw a half-portrait head. Something that I have never done before. I think I might need more than half of his head. I mean, I technically only need half of it. Maybe it could have been a bit better to have the full thing just for reference. But I thought it would be a bit more funny if I just bisected his head. So, jaw, chin, just zoom in quite a ways. So when drawing lips from the side, I'm just going purely based off of intuition right now. Lips should do that. Nose. I think the head also goes... Well, the head's actually just too small. I've drawn the features too small. I'll have to size everything up. Forehead. Let's see. What does his hairline look like? It does have a bit of a peak. down 
and we have year here. The hairline meets the back of the neck. All right. And now I just take everything I've drawn here and make it a little bit bigger. general sort of face for Alistair. I, think I should sharpen that nose, make the bridge it's protruding. Sort of like that. And then, like me, he has a swept back hairstyle. So, make the hairline jagged. Less uniform. So I think that ear might be a bit too large. But uh, again, this is just a rough sketch. Okay, also... I think I might have given him a bit too much of a chin. Although he has a fairly pronounced chin, so maybe not. No, that's too much chin. Way too much chin. Could cut that chin in half and still have it look reasonable. Also, where the face goes into neck. Okay, in the original, the neck is covered by hair, but unfortunately, Alistair's isn't quite long enough to accomplish that, so... Let's just shorten it, and I will have the clouds that surround the head covering that portion of the body. the sketch of Alley out of the way. Now then, time for the final project. I want much thinner lines. I'm 
so close to being done, I can almost taste it. Oh. Also, I want the lines to be black. These ones were blue for some reason. I suppose not for some reason, but because I was still drawing bubs in that color. Realize I was just very quiet there for a second, but uh, there's quite a bit to focus on right now. I think down that ear a little bit, it was a bit too large, in all honesty. strands of hair that hook back over. cards with topics on them. Because I am lost in thought right now. back up starting again. Let's see. What have I been up to? I suppose, um, one of the things I can mention is that I have been watching the new hero of, or new season of Hero Aka. Currently up to date. I, uh, they had been on such good pace, I really wish they'd cut the majority of the flashbacks that were introduced in this most recent episode. It is going well. I just wish it wasn't so flashback-heavy right now. It's starting to remind me of uh, an older era of shonen manga. As we had a... Um a minute and a half of flashbacks to the previous episode right before the um is it the intro sequence this week I never actually played the first game so
Oh, it's a mobile game. Really, the last time they made a game, it was console. A bit of a surprise. Okay, I can get rid of that sketch. Okay. Hmm. I suppose I will uh, take a look at the trailer then. I wasn't even aware that uh, they were working on anything like that. Ellie has very thick lines to his eyes. Hmm. I actually like his eyebrows quite a lot. Um, now what I said was I had read the manga. Um, I am a bit further ahead than where the anime is at this point. Uh, but I haven't gotten back to it in a while. Uh, but apparently I stopped right before a pretty big arc that happened. Uh, so I'm going to want to get back into that. Just in case I uh, get any spoilers from reading into uh, comment sections too deeply. Because I definitely don't want that. Right, what do ears look like? I've got the all here, just like a loop, like that. All right, this here is just going to have to disappear into nothingness. Details can go and die. Also, Hmm. I think I've made his face too long. Maybe his eyes just too high up, actually. Yeah, eyes definitely too high up. Eyebrows too close to the eye. Let's go up a little bit more. That's a bit better. Right, and now... I'm actually going to... Let's see. some preemptive lines for the clouds that will be surrounding him so that I don't have to color in neck. Oh. Missed a line there. Whoops.
Huh. This is looking reasonably well put together. Oh. Even though it's all in the same layer. Alright, time to undo. Alley color. I can actually just get rid of Sketch Alley and rename this one to Alley. Oh, and I will take a drink as well. Thank you for the redeem. All right. Back to filling. Nope. I caught it early that time. So color should go below normal. But I can fill in these irritating little pixel gaps. With hard color. Thank you very much. These slight missing pieces are going to be much more noticeable since there's a uh, actual blue background behind him and he won't be sitting on something transparent. So that's actually a small bit of a problem. Get the white of the eyes filled in. That's simple enough. Now to draw an eye from side profile. Just grab a color pick of that. a bit too much. Right, I think that's actually just about what I want. Just lighten up that... Oh no. That's nearly the same as skin color. I have a slightly darker shade. But it doesn't meld in with the skin. Yeah. Doesn't need to be too detailed. Oh, and Sebastian's back. Hello, I'm going to need you to, uh, not be sitting in front of my screen. I did shading on both Lucy and Bub, so Alistair gets a little bit as well. Oh, I'd very much prefer it if you didn't ram your face into my numpad, Sebastian. You could press a button that does something. Alright, move my keyboard away from you. go. 
resting in a slightly more manageable position now. Hope he doesn't do anything annoying though. He's in prime position to be able to irritate me. No, I said not to do that anymore. Big old fluffy walking natural disaster there. to be going into that much detail. That is a perfectly suitable Alistair. Now then, to draw some swirling clouds. Just make a brand new layer for cloud. Quite that brand new. Okay. I want the outline to be in flat black. Thank you. Alright, you know what? I've gone on long enough. Let's just take the exact pattern of the cloud. Maybe it has some sort of special significance to the tarot. is actually a bit of swirling cloud beneath where the uh, man's head is as well, so that helps considerably. Take a color pick of that, and there we go. Clouds. And, uh, Bubs also gets a couple of clouds as well. Oh. Uh, come on, mouse. You don't have to do this to me now. Give me back control of my computer. There we go. So, isn't that an alchemical symbol? I'm fairly certain it is. I'm not drawing it, but, uh... Interesting to note, I suppose. No, I'm not going to draw it. I hesitated for a second there, but uh, I'm just not feeling it. I lied. It is an alchemical symbol. It's there now.
All right, now I can just fill bucket without a care in the world. All right. There we go. That's the world done. Um, I'm just going to do some last minute details like um, adding 21 up at the top and putting the world down in the bottom of the card. But other than that, uh, I am finished. So, uh, if you want to see... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, very much. So if you want to see the uh, finished product, I'll put it up on my Twitter in, I don't know, a little while. Um, and that'll be that. But as for now, let's find someone to raid. Because I have been streaming for nearly four hours. And I'm getting tired. Alright, who's online? Like I said at the beginning, Mekon is still live, but I always, I, I feel like I raid Mekon too much. I need to move out of my comfort zone. Also, uh, my internet is moving very slowly. So, give me a second. Come on now. All right. Oh, I actually just can't open things right now for some reason. Come on. My internet's just flat not responding right now. Right? Oh. Hmm. I suppose I can talk a little bit while I'm waiting for this to load again. Um, what was I gonna say? I had a couple of topics. I swear I did. I had something in mind to talk about right now, but it's fled my brain. Oh. Yeah, no. For... For real. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to have to... Because I have everything set up on a separate screen, so I'm actually... You're probably going to hear my voice doubled for a half a second. There we go. Alright, it looks like I actually managed to mute it in time. But I've pulled up my stream on my actual PC that I'm using. Oh! Let's go visit Koji. That seems fitting. He is currently streaming Minecraft. All right. So, as always, there are my two raid messages. One of them uses standard Twitch emotes, the other one uses my own personal ones. Uh, take whichever one is most applicable to you. I'll give you a couple of seconds to copy uh, whichever one you're going to be using, as well as give you time to use some butler bucks to choose an emote to unlock. I only have the one, so shouldn't be too difficult to find which one you're looking for. Uh, and then I suppose I will just hit the raid now button and hope to see you all there later. But as for me, that is it for today. Au revoir. Hooray, we back. Thank you, Peter, for letting me know that we are actually back. Also, uh, Every item you take, we remind you to save the main people and keep our body parts in the same time. This whole time I've been streaming under just chatting instead of Minecraft, and nobody told me. Oh, no. What's the deal, suckers?
What's the deal? Give me just a moment. Welcome, Barleone and uh, tourists. Welcome to Dragon Pearl Caverns. I am currently uh, streaming Minecraft with Jet Tentacle here. Uh, but uh, let me see if my bot's gonna work for me this time. No, Nightbot, you're not gonna uh, work for me? Alright then. 